Okay, we are going to find the limit as x approaching infinity of ln x over square root of x. First, when we put infinity to here, we get ln of infinity. And this right here approaches infinity. And when we have square root of infinity, this right here also approaches infinity. And one way to see is you can look at the graph for ln x and also the graph for square root of x. But here is the main part. This is an infinity over infinity case. So yeah, it's right here. We can use the L'Hopital's rule, so that's nice. <laughs> so let me indicate that for you guys. All right, LH. That means we can differentiate the top and then differentiate the bottom. And then here we have the limit as x approaching infinity. Okay, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x. Now, to kind of get rid of this complex fraction situation, we can just multiply the top and bottom by this denominator 2 square root of x right here and also 2 square root of x. So that this and that will cancel. So you see, this right here is just going to be the limit as x approaching infinity. Okay, we have the 2, but square root of x over x. Can we do anything with that? Yeah, let's have a look on the side real quick. Square root of x over x. One way to simplify this is look at the exponent as the fractional power. This right here is the same as x to the 1 half power over x to the first power. And then subtract the powers. We see 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So that's x to the negative 1 half power. And that means we can just bring this power down to the bottom and make it positive. And you can write that back as a square root. So 1 over square root of x. Or another way to do this is just multiply the top and bottom by square root of x. So really depends how you want to simplify that. But either way, we have a 2 on the top. And this and that, we have the square root of x on the bottom. All right? And then right here, do we need to use L'Hopital's rule? No, because we can just put infinity to here, and we see this is going to give us 2 over square root of infinity. And square root of infinity is infinity. 2 over infinity is 0. So the final answer is just equal to 0 for this right here. And that's it.